Partial payment makes it a lot easier for your visitors to book the trip or tour package on an installment payment basis. You can specify the partial payment rate for the trip in percentage or amount while creating the packages. Partial payment doesn't stop here. It lets your users decide to make either the partial payment or full payment for the booking they made. This feature clears all the confusion for your users who might think that partial payment is only available while booking the trip. In this video, I will show you how to install and configure partial payment add-on on your travel website step by step. Let's get started. First, you need to log in to your WordPress admin dashboard. Now. Navigate to Plugins and click on Add New. Click on Upload Plugin. Click on Choose File. Select the Partial Payment Add-on ZIP file. Click on Open and click on Install Now. Click on Activate Plugin. As you can see, the WP Travel Engine Partial Payment Add-on has been installed and activated successfully. Next, you need to activate the license key. For that, go to WP Travel Engine, then click on Plugin License. Enter the license key that you received during the download of the add-on. Your license key looks something like this. Click on Activate License. The license key for partial payment add-on is activated on this site. After activating the add-on license, you will receive regular updates from our team. Now, let's configure the global settings of this add-on. To do that, from WP Travel Engine, you have to click on Settings, go to Extensions, then go to Partial Payment. After installing and activating the partial payment add-on, the extension shows here. Here, you can define different settings for the add-on. First, you can enable or disable the partial payment on your trips globally from here. You can disable or enable the toggle. I'm going to enable it. Then, you can choose whether you want to allow your users to make partial payment in percentage or in amount. If you select percentage, you have to set the percentage value here. And if you select amount, you have to select the value here in amount. Please remember that this is the global settings and it applies to all the trips that you have created for your site. Right now, I have set the value as 100 and I'm also going to select the partial payment acceptance in amount. Click on Save and Continue to save all of the changes that you have made. After configuring the global settings, let's go to one of the trips. Go to Trips and click on All Trips. Let's open it in the new tab. We will go to the first trip and click on Edit. Scroll down and you have to navigate to Pricing and Dates. After installing and activating the partial payment extension, you will have the option to enable or disable the partial payment from here. If you disable the partial payment, the partial payment will not be applied anymore for this particular trip. When you enable the partial payment for the trip, you can also set a partial payment amount for this specific trip from here. The partial payment amount you set here is independent of the amount that is set back here in the global settings. Let me demonstrate that with an example. Let's go back to the trip. So for now, I have set the partial payment amount as 50. You can add in any other value of your choice. Now, click on Update to save the changes. Let's view the trip in the new tab. Now let's book this trip. Click on Check Availability and we will book this trip. Cross it to check out. Here, the down payment shown is the partial payment. 
The down payment is shown here as $50 because we set $50 as the down payment for this specific trip. But if you go back to trips and let's open a different trip, let's open the second trip here, click on edit, scroll down, navigate to pricing and dates, we will enable the partial payment but we will not add any partial payment amount for this trip. Click on update. Now let's open the trip in the new tab. Let's book this trip as well. Here, the down payment or the partial payment is set as $100, which is the value we set from the global settings. In order to display a different down payment in this trip, you'll have to go back to the strip, then add in a specific partial payment amount and update the strip. Like for example, if I add in $200 here as the partial payment amount for this specific trip and click on update. Again, if we open the strip in the new tab and book it once again, Here, the down payment or the partial payment will be set as 200. If you have confusions regarding this, then please do let me know in the comment section below or you can always reach out to our support team. I have added the link in the description box below. As you can see, the total amount for the trip is 2500 and because the down payment or the partial payment is 200, the total payable amount for the moment is $200 and the remaining payment is $2300. Let's assume that your visitors do not want to go for the partial payment, then they can also select full or 100% payment from the down payment options. If you scroll down, there are two payment options under down payment options. The first is down payment and second is full payment. When your visitors select full payment, which is 100% payment, the partial payment option will now not show here anymore. But if they do select down payment and select one of the payment method from below, the amount selected for the partial payment amount will be deducted and the total payable amount will be the partial payment amount. There you go, this is how you install and set up the partial payment add-on on your travel booking website. I hope you're finding our videos informative and you're also getting to learn more about the WP Travel Engine plugin. I will be back again with both the informational and tutorial video of yet another best selling add-on of this plugin. See you soon.